Good morning, folks. Helio Viewer is lagging, so we're using SDO and ISWA for solar images today. The top solar feature right now is a massive plasma filament vertically oriented from the sun's surface in the form of a solar tornado. It begins entering the earth facing forth of the sun and presents a strong eruption potential. Remember that these features can eject and produce a CME without the forewarning flare from a sunspot. Luckily, the most likely release trajectory of this filament is straight north. Other than that, the sun is very calm. We've had an X-ray flux flatline indicating the lack of solar flare activity, and it's mostly due to the lack of sunspots capable of flaring. Stagnation and decay dominate the sunspots facing Earth. We combine that quiet with the calming of a solar wind. All telemetry within normal range and Earth's magnetic shield is doing just fine calm and unperturbed. The lack of solar wind and flaring leaves this angle of the solar system open to increased cosmic ray bombardment and that's what we see even without the raw neutron data. Both the neutrons and muons are surging upward according to Bartol. Southern negative coronal hole facing Earth with a positive northern opening incoming but still blocked by magnetic fields. The visibility on both is solid now with the dark patches top and bottom and 211 angstroms. The southern portion's strongest aspects begin facing Earth already and the northern coronal hole is right on its heels longitudinally. Let's come back to Earth for an ice update. Arctic up north still below average but above record lows and trending upward. Despite the melting of the Antarctic and southern summer, it's still shattering the all-time high ice marks day to day. This is unprecedented. So the quake of the day was undoubtedly the Eastern Canadian Rumble. That's a very rare location. We're also seeing activity in the Southeast Pacific, which often heralds an increase of activity at the American coastlines to the east. And the top magnitude quake of the day was an earth spot rumble. As the typhoon begins making landfall in the Philippines, we had the largest quake of the day hit right on the track of the storm. Doesn't get much closer than that. Twin cyclones in the Indian Ocean, with the western one having done most of its damage here, waiting for the reports to come in. Okay, so a few days ago we said watch for a jet stream jump and a warm up to follow. The jet stream that allowed cooler air to come down from the north is now bending back up towards the Arctic and allowing warmer air into a good portion of the United States. As for tonight, the western moisture flow manages to bend on shore there, right near the US Canada border, and the moisture flow off the Gulf carries all the way up to the colder air masses. This is how you get tonight's alert zones north, wet, cold. In Europe, the low pressure cell of focus remains in the northern areas, southwest swinging convergence, and we have a reinforced flow directly at the southwest coastlines. Purple follows the low, the convergence, and the reinforced flow to the coastline of Spain and Portugal. Northern Australia is in rain mode. It's that time of year, but also note the same wind power over Tasmania from yesterday and a convergence atop New Zealand. Storms in the north, storms in Tassie, storms in New Zealand. If you didn't catch last night's evening news, we updated the mobile observatory schedule. Our San Diego event is tomorrow. Head over to observatoryproject.com for details. It is Saturday, so over at suspiciousobservers.org, we've got our weekly podcast upload coming to fly on the wall in a few hours. Got a terrific show lined up today. If you're not yet a member, it's a whopping $3 per month or 20 when you get a full year of access. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got your current conditions and shots of our start to close at 6.20 a.m. in the east, 3.20 a.m. in California. That's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.